Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my springtime bunnies, both with the dress and the overalls. They're so cute. I'm gonna actually break this video down to a couple different videos. That way it's easier to find everything. It's gonna be a lot of information and I don't wanna pack everything into one video. Also, before you begin this video, make sure you are comfortable with the chain stitch, the slip stitch, the single crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, how to increase stitches, decrease stitches, and what a front loop only stitch looks like. If those don't ring a bell or you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches, I highly recommend that you check out other videos before this video. Get yourself well acquainted with what that stitch looks like. That way you have more success with this pattern and less frustration. This video, I'm not showing you how to do the stitch. I'm showing you how to make the bunny. The pattern for this bunny can be located in the notes section and the comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on the link, print off the pattern, be ready to crochet with me. I will also include the link here at the bottom of the screen. So that way, if you want to pause the video, write that down, go to the link, print off the pattern, be ready to go. That would be great. Once you either have the pattern or you're ready to go, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make these super cute bunnies. The materials that you're going to need for your springtime bunny will include a size four weight, worsted, medium, Aran sized yarn in either a 10 to 12 ply. Those are all just sizes of yarn depending on where you are in the world. Pick whatever color that you want to make your bunny in, the dress, the overalls. The exact yarn that I used was Yarn Bee Breathe Deep in the color Sage, Ivory, and Mauve. But really use whatever colors that you want. Really make this your own. You're gonna need a crochet hook size F or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, tapestry needle to help sew all the pieces together. And last but not least, polyfill or some kind of stuffed animal stuffing to fill in the bunny to give it that stuffed animal quality. I will include all of these materials in the note section, description section of this video. If you would like to purchase the exact materials that I am using, I will have links for everything so that way you have easy access to everything that I have located right here. Once you've gathered all of your materials, let's head straight over to actually making our bunny. Beginning with the head, I like to start with a long enough tail to use as an actual row marker. But if you have row markers that you really like to use, make sure you have those handy. I will make my slip knot right here, giving myself four inches of tail to use before my slip knot. If you are using actual row markers, you can actually begin with two inch tail and create your slip knot. All right, attaching our crochet hook. And we are ready to begin. So the head portion of the bunny is worked in rounds. So we can begin one of two ways, either with the chain two method or a magic ring. Whichever you are most comfortable with beginning with, use that method. They accomplish the same exact thing. I'm most fond of the chain two method, so that's what I'm going to do. One, Two, for round one of the head, you will make six single crochets in the first chain or six single crochets inside the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, Perfect, okay, if you are using row markers, put a row marker in the top of that sixth stitch that we just made. Because I'm using the tail as my row, my row marker, I will yarn over my tail, pull the tail through the loop on my crochet hook, and that just indicates that I have ended round one and I'm ready for round two. So in this creation, we are working in continuous rounds. That means I am not going to slip stitch and chain one to get to my next round. I'm just going to dive right into starting my stitches into the next round. The pattern for round two is to make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So you should end round two with 12 single crochets. Working continuously, I will insert my crochet hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet. One, two, next stitch, three, four, next stitch, five, six, 11, 
12, perfect. We've made it to the end of round two. Grab your row marker, place it into the 12th stitch right here. I'm going to yarn over my tail, pull the tail through my loop, and that indicates to me that I have just finished round two. For round three, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet, one single crochet, two, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three, ending round three with 18 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, next stitch, one, one, two, next stitch, one, 16, 17, 18, perfect. Okay, grab that row marker, insert row marker into that 18th stitch right there, indicating we have just finished round three. I'm gonna yarn over my tail, pull that through my loop, and continue on. For round four, the repeat pattern will be increase single crochet in the first stitch, then one single crochet in the next two stitches, then two single crochet, one, one, two single crochet, one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round four. You will end round four with 24 single crochets. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Great. Move row marker to the 24th single crochet there. Yarning over my tail, pulling that through. We are ready for round five. For round five, the repeat pattern will be increase single crochet and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So two single crochet, then one, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round five. You will end round five with 30 single crochets. One, two, one, one, one. One, two, one, one, one. One, two, one, 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 twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Great. Move that row marker. Here we go. For round six, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then repeat, two single crochet in one stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around. You will end round six with 36 single crochets. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, thirty one, thirty two, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Great. Moving the row marker tail or moving your row marker. And here we go. Round seven, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next five stitches. 
and then repeat. Two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around. You will end round seven with 42 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. 40, 41, 42. Great, moving our row marker. Here we go. Okay, so for round eight through round 15, all you are doing is making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end each round, round eight through round 15, with 42 single crochets. To count your rows to make sure you're keeping on track, just look for these circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're about to start round eight. So go ahead and continue on making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, making sure to move your row marker, count your stitches to make sure you're not dropping a stitch or adding a stitch. We want to make sure there's 42 stitches in each round, and I will meet you at the end of round 15 to show you what to do next. Great, just ended round 15, moving our row marker. For round 16, we're gonna start decreasing and we're gonna start curving this head inward. The repeat pattern for round 16 will be to decrease the first two stitches together and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. So if you're not sure what a decrease is, you insert your crochet hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your crochet hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your crochet hook, one loop coming from this hole or this stitch, and one loop coming from this hole or this stitch. You'll yarn over and pull through all three loops, and that will turn two stitches into one. And that's a decrease single crochet. And then we will make one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then you repeat. Decrease single crochet, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way around for round 16. You will end round 16 with 36 single crochets. One, two, three, five, 36, great. Moving our row marker. We're now on round 17. For round 17, we will decrease the first two stitches together and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And that is the repeat pattern for round 17. You will end round 17 with 30 single crochets. So decrease, single crochet, and then one, two, three, four, decrease single crochet, one, two, three, four, twenty nine, and 30. Great, moving our row marker. Last round for our head. The pat repeat pattern will be decrease single crochet in the first two stitches, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round 18. You will end with 24 single crochets. One, one, two, three, 
one, one, two, three, twenty three, twenty four. Great. Move the row marker one last time, and we're really done with the head portion. So let's grab our scissors, cut a long enough tail so we can sew the head portion to the body portion. So make sure you have more than less. Err on having too much than not having enough. Okay. We're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of what would be round 19 slip stitch, yarn over this tail that we just cut, pull that through the loop and that creates a slip knot. And now let's move on to making the body. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like you and me where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare has thousands of different videos that they are constantly updating themselves to give you the best and newest information. What I'm learning right now is color. Color and crochet go hand in hand. Color can absolutely make or break a crochet project. What I am learning from a video called Color Theory, Get Inspired by Color by Sarah Parkinson Howie, is not only what colors work best with each other, but also that there is a psychology of color. Color can absolutely affect your mood. I've also learned things on Skillshare such as Etsy, how to sell my crocheted items. So depending on where you want to go in your crochet journey, Skillshare is going to be incredible. And for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, it's going to be the best thing you ever did. Skillshare has given us a gift. They have given us a link that I'm going to include in both the description section and the comment section below this video. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on that link, get to try a free trial of a premium membership to Skillshare so you can check out their videos for yourself. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring my video. Now let's get back to making that bunny. We work the body very similar to how we worked the head. Again, I like to start with a tail for my row marker, making this tail not as long as I needed for the head because the body portion is smaller. So I'll still stick with like right at four inches or maybe a little less before I make my slip knot. If you are using row markers, you can start with a smaller tail. Insert your crochet hook and we're ready to begin. The body portion is also worked in rounds, so you can either begin with the chain two method or a magic ring. I'm going to use the chain two method. One, two. We begin round one by making six single crochets in the first chain or six single crochets inside your magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put your row marker in that sixth stitch, or I'm going to use my row marker tail and move on to round two. Round two, again, we're working continuous rounds, so I'm gonna dive right into round two. In round two, you are making two single crochets or increase single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You will end round two with 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, 11, 12. Move your row marker. For round three, the repeat pattern will be two double crochets in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two, one, two, one. You will end round three with 18 single crochets. One, two, and then one. One, two, one. 16, 17, 18. Great, move your row marker. Perfect. For round four, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round four, and you will end round four with 24 single crochets. One, two, then one, 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 two, 
one, one, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Great, move that row marker. We're now on round five. Round five's repeat pattern is two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next three stitches. And then two single crochet, one, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one, one. You will end round five with a total of 30 single crochets. One, two, one, one, one. One, two, one, one, one. 29 and 30. Great, move that row marker. Perfect, for round six through round 18, we're just making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end each round with 30 single crochets. I will meet you at the end of round 18 to show you what to do next. And last stitch here for, I just finished round 18. Perfect, moved my row marker, grabbing my scissors. And when it comes to the body portion of your bunny, you don't need a long tail because the tail on the head is long enough for us to attach the two pieces together. So go ahead and slip stitch into the very next stitch for a very smooth close. Yarn over, pull that tail through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and that's how we will close off our work. Perfect, so this is what we're looking at, and we're ready to move on to the very next item. Next thing we are making are the ears.